Hello guys and welcome back to the Teacher Made channel where everything is made by a teacher. Today we're going to talk about one of, one of another favorite math websites that I like to use inside my classroom for my students. And this website is called mathgames.com. Um, you can just search it up on, you know, your student's laptop or you can project it on the board, which is what I usually do. And it's called mathgames.com. And I know what you're probably thinking, that it's all just games. And no, that is not true. They do have games on here, as you can see, where it says practice math games. They have different games on here. Anything that has to do with math, these are the games listed below. Um, one of my students' favorite games to play on here is Number Worms. And they also like the Cat Wars. So I'm going to take you into this website and show you why this is my favorite website and something that you can probably use inside your classroom. So down here at the bottom, we have Practice Math by Grade. And this is what I like about this website because you can it breaks it down by the grade level and it goes all the way from pre-K all the way up to seventh grade. So, you, you know, if you have a student who's in kindergarten but performing on a first grade level, you can give them first grade work. So we're gonna click on grade one. And what I also love about it is that it gives you the standards that goes with it. So each lesson is built in with the, the standard. So as you can see, it's broken down into geometry, number patterns, addition, comparison, fractions, number properties, measurement, mixed equations, time, counting, and subtraction, and graphing. So as you can see, the numbers next to it, these are your standards. These are your standards. So anytime you're writing a lesson plan, you can put that you use, you know, independent practice for mathgames.com as a independent practice for your students. And you can also put the standard next to it. So say that you want your students to work on geometry. So and you're also going to see a star and it's going to say zero out of five or out of 15 or 20. And the student has to try and get the the star because each student can have their own login if you create a login for them and I'm going to show you that a bit later but you don't have to have a login for some of your students so let me show you this example under geometry the first one is identify shapes so and in each grade level it's the same standard concept you're just working under that grade level so this is what it's going to look like when it comes up. So up here, the student has their profile and then the assignments you sign and then they have assessments, workbooks, and they get their own report card so they can track their own data. So right here, it says which of the following objects is a octagon. And it's going to have question marks also. Um, as you can see, I already picked the wrong one. And when they pick the wrong one, it will show them an X. But when they, and when they, when it, um, when you pick the wrong one down here, it grades itself. So if you see a, a yellow box, that means the student got the answer wrong. So that way they're checking their own progress as the same time as they're, they are doing the lesson itself. So let's go back and click the correct one. We are looking for octagon. So that's what's gonna come up. It says, good job. So anytime they get it right, it's gonna be a green check down at the bottom. And that means that they got it correct. So like I said, it's not only showing the students that they're getting it correct but it's also showing me as a teacher okay so they know what skill or what lesson they're working on so looking for a pentagon so i'm just going to finish these all the way out so i can show you at the end 
what it's going to look at look like and it's also always 10 squares down at the bottom where it says where's the green and the yellow check mark <laughs> sorry about my dog so we're gonna keep going sorry about my dog um so i'm gonna show you at the end what it's going to look like and So at the end, it's gonna have, like I said, the stars at the bottom. It'll have two stars out of five because that was what the goal was to get out of five. And then at the bottom, it shows each student out of 10 questions, how many they got right and how many they got wrong. So they would do this on each lesson until they have mastered it. And if they have mastered it, then all of these stars would be lit up at the bottom so it says nice work we'll do a little bit more practice and then it moves them to the next skill so they click on the next skill and it'll keep them on the same skill until they have mastered this skill and they will have like i said all the stars are lit up at the bottom on this website we also have it also has printable worksheets where like the lesson we just did that's a preview of it the number of pages you can do in the layout and how many questions you can do and i use this website for my students with disabilities because it is very flexible and then we can click on the skills tab so as you can see all of the math skills are up there and then we're gonna go into the workbooks. Okay, so for the workbooks, you have to be logged in. And for the login, this is where you would go. And if you click join at the top, then you can join as a student, teacher, or parent. But we're not gonna to join today. I'm just wanted to show you where you would go to join. So like I said, back at the grades, they have different grades and different worksheets in each lesson. Like I said, you don't have to be a member to join. Um, I joined, I joined all of my students. They all have their own password and their login. So anytime I ask them to work on their math assignment, they can go in and work on that without me having to sign them in. And like I said, this is called mathgames.com. And thank you for watching the Teacher Made channel. And don't forget to click the like, share, and subscribe button. Thank you.